about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see, the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Welcome inside my greenhouse. I'm in the greenhouse. I uh, haven't showed it to you guys yet, but I'll show you a little clip of us putting it together. Um, very easy to put together. My grandbaby basically and my daughter put mine together for me. I helped a little bit here and there. The name of the tent is called Quick Tents, and it is quick to put up, guys. I put it up with the help of my daughter and my grandbaby. Um, it comes in parts and they're labeled A, B, C, D, you know, and you just plug everything in together as like this and uh, lay your, you know, your tarp on the ground and basically cover it. It's pretty easy to put together. There we go. That's the greenhouse. And kind of got like a little slope going on here, guys, but it'll work. Here's the front. Okay. Got to do a little finishing touches to it, but I'm sure we'll get it a little more leveled off as we go along. And here's the inside. We've got the tarp all down. And I can start putting some things in. Uh, and eventually I'm gonna plant them in the ground. But for right now, I'm gonna get them back outside so they can get a lot of good sunlight. But my goodness, I'm telling you, they have really grown since I bought them. Uh, I'll see if I can find a clip to show you when I first bought them. Some of them were just really small and now they've really grown out. Uh, as I said, it's a little messy in here right now. I'm gonna clean it up, guys. I'm gonna take all of these out of here today. Uh, it is April 4th, actually is Easter. And um, I'm going to put them outdoors because I think we've kind of had the last, uh, checking the temperature, We I think we've had the last of the uh, frost date here. So these are the sweet potatoes that I'm going to be planting, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. I've never done sweet potatoes before, but I'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey so you can follow me along, and um, whenever I film, I'll show you a little bit we'll see how they're coming along. I have regular potatoes that I'm going to plant and get some more potatoes from. Now I'm going to plant these today in uh, some large uh, containers that I bought around uh, November. I think around, oh my goodness, I don't remember exactly when I bought them, but I think I showed them to you. I bought them at Walmart and I paid $4.95 each for them. So guys, it's actually two days later. Um, I have a lot to do today. I have a lot of planting to do. So I really want to get the potatoes in. I missed a day. I was supposed to come out yesterday and do the potatoes. But 
I got involved in so many other things that I didn't get a chance to do those. But I'm going to plant the potatoes today. As you can see, the sweet potatoes are doing great. Leaves are really forming very, very nicely. Very nicely. And um, we have our white potatoes here and they're nice and dry. So I'm going to plant them in pots and that's all and we're gonna be done with that, okay? So stick around. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the greenhouse, <laughs> and um, it feels odd to be enclosed yet outdoors. So, for the first time, guys, I'm really excited about this little adventure I'm going on. I'm planting uh, white potatoes and sweet potatoes. Never planted them before. Um, I had um, potatoes that um, I didn't get to finish in time, didn't get to cook them in time. So I just let them sit in a dark corner uh, so that they could sprout some eyes so that I can work on this project. So um, here, I'm gonna show you what I have going on. Over here, I have my sweet potatoes. Uh, as you can see, I let them sit until they start sprouting and boy, did they sprout, right? So now um, I have them in water. Uh, I put the toothpicks so that the, you know, the bottom is not touching the bottom of the jar. And um, that one over there already has uh, flowers growing off of it, um, or slips. They call them slips, they're not flowers. And this one also that has uh, slips, and this one has slips growing, all of them actually, except for perhaps that one. But they all have slips growing off of them already. Now, these are my uh, white potatoes and um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, handle those. Okay guys, so you can see my um, potatoes and um, you see the eyes here. Um, what I'm going to do though is um, I'm going to cut wherever I see, you know, like the eye and that's how I'm going to plant them. I'm just gonna put them into in here for overnight in this pan here. I'm gonna put them in this pan. Um, so I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna cut them in half. And then I have some ashes here. And we're just gonna rub it in the ashes. I have a pail of, let me show you this. I have some ashes and the potatoes love ash. They love the ash in it. I guess it's got properties that, you know, that it really loves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it in to the ash and I'm gonna sit it to the side like that. And I'm gonna sit it like that. I'm gonna do that and let it sit overnight. And the ashes is going to help dry it out. There are some properties in the ashes that uh, nutrients that the uh, potato really, really likes. Uh, the white potatoes are here. They've got the ash on them, the ashes. And uh, we have our sweet potatoes here. And they are all just going to be sitting. I'm gonna change the water every couple of days or so. And that is rain water that I used in there. Um, this one was so big <laughs> that I put it put it in a um, empty, empty container. Hey, whatever works, we'll see if it works. But uh, you can see the, the leaves already growing on these. So shouldn't take too long for 
the slips to appear. And uh, here's the white potatoes. We'll plant them in pots tomorrow and we'll see how everything comes out. Oh, here's the ashes. <laughs> Just some ashes. <clears throat> So these are the containers that I'm going to be using. I got these containers from Walmart uh, back in, oh, in the winter, October, November, sometime like that. I paid $4.95 for them because I knew that I wanted to plant some things later in the summer, spring. So first I have to uh, put some holes About to leave. in my already packed. Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we my topsoil here and I need to amend my topsoil uh, and add uh, some nutrients in the topsoil. Um, a good soil mixture must have nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So I decided that I'm going to add in uh, a good soil mix absolutely needs perlite. Uh, it uh, improves aeration and it helps modify the soil structure by keeping the soil loose and uh, making sure that it's uh, well able to drain. Also, uh, I mixed in some bone meal. Uh, in the bone meal you have, it's very rich in phosphorus and in calcium. I have cow manure that I'm mixing in. The cow manure is going to provide moisture and therefore give uh, a very good benefits uh, to the roots. Uh, going to provide great nutrients for the roots of the, um, the potatoes or whatever plant it is that you're planting. I'm also going to be adding in uh, some peat moss and that's a natural organic soil conditioner. So you want to have about 60% of your topsoil and the other 40% your other nutrients that you want to add in to amend your soil. Potatoes don't mind being enclosed together. That's from my research. So, you know, these are the potatoes that I uh, got the the eyes out on and I did dry them out the part that I cut I dried it out with some ashes okay so I'm gonna plant them like this just put them in there I'm just gonna put it all the way around guys I've never done this before so I don't know I'm doing it right. <laughs> you know, you have to learn. You have to learn different things by trial and error. Um, I'll always have this soil, so if this doesn't work, then I'll know what to do for the future here. Okay, so, okay, so we're gonna go like that. And we're going to just cover it up a little bit cover it up a little bit with some soil and then we're going to water it really 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 good. My potatoes are all covered up now and for a little good measure I'm going to put a little bone meal right on top. About to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions 
this will get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Died with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. So guys, you're going to be with me all summer, okay? We're going to be doing not just gardening, but we're going to be doing other things. And uh, so I'll let you know how this turns out, okay? Hopefully it'll turn out just right. If not, boy, am I learning. <laughs> when you put a lot of work into something and you see it uh, be fruitful and multiply, that makes you real happy. When you do something and it don't work out, you learn from it. So, guys, listen. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye. And remember, how others treat you is their karma. But how you respond, my babies, is your karma. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next video.